Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are Cardboard in the Rough. I'm Justin. And I'm Corey. And we're going to do another episode of The Light in the Mist. Alright, so... Last time... We... We did don't remember. Strength? We do strength and... Did we write them down? Oh yeah, that's how this works. Oh well, we'll move that's on. Fine. We're moving on. I don't know which ones we did. We'll figure it out. Okay. We do need that journal though. Yeah, journal. And this. So I don't think we've mentioned much about the journal, but um, you mark down the words that you find at the end of the puzzles on this little journal card. And there's some bits of story that you find as you go through. After you solve it, it tells you a number, which we've read off. And you look in this book, and it tells you um, some information about the story that's going on, about Sam and her friend that's lost. No, Sam is lost. We're trying to, the friend is trying to find Sam. Sorry, you're right. Sam is lost, and um, you're trying to find her in the mist. There are some items that you also acquire. Uh, I don't, I think we may have picked up, so we have a cassette player, a beech leaf, some origami paper, and some binoculars. Intense stuff right here. And th that will change, um, actually it hasn't changed any of the story so far, but it, it changes what the, um, what other items you may acquire, or how you interact with them at the end of certain scenarios. So, so I'm thinking we start filling in some of these gaps. Sure. Let's do it. All right. So, the emperor. And let's see. After that, we'll also do the chariot. Ooh, that's a lot of grapes. All right. It'll be fine. So, the emperor. We'll do that one first. Yes. <clears throat> uh, four cards. It is the king from each suit. Which is fitting. I like that. Makes sense. Alright, and then, Justin, would you mind reading the associated the text? Wisdom. The I, wisdom. I would, because it's a meme now, and I have to forget about it. <laughs> we forget every time. Alright, I had forgotten. For what that's worth. Alright, the Emperor, number four. Pressing on through the trees, a faint glow ahead leads you to a group of five shimmering thrones. The largest throne sits between two banners, embellished with strange designs that look like diagrams of some sort, each revealing a piece of an object from multiple sides. Among the thrones, you hear the old woman's voice speak. The emperor holds the key to the keys. Identify them first. Next, you'll find that all of the kings have placed for him the jewels of their crown, but they clearly need reorganization. Once you understand the meaning of the Emperor's jewels, look back to the kings for orders, and remember that creatures of the animal kingdom have their own hierarchy. Okay. I think we can do that. Okay. Hey everyone. Just cutting in here to let you know that we are going to do the summaries on these, and if you want to see us spend probably close to an hour, uh, scratching our heads and struggling through these puzzles, uh, just let us know and I will add that back in. So we're going to run through and do summaries like we did in the last episode, uh, talking about the two that we solved this evening. So we already have this one set up because it's the last one that we solved. And this is the chariot, number seven. 
Here we go. So we started with a map, and it said to use the map and signposts to figure out where you're going. And the compasses. And the compasses. So we oriented the cards based on the compasses. All of them had a compass. And then after orienting them, we looked at some of the signposts. Um, so it was almost like a jigsaw puzzle putting this together. So you have a waterfall, points to the waterfall. And, there was and some... then there's a frog, points to the frog, and a mushroom, points to a mushroom. Just... That, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> helps you fit all of this together to make it look like the map. And then it's probably slightly hard to see, but on the map there are... It's not an autofocus. Oh, there's little doodads. It's okay, you don't need to do that. There. There's little doodads. There's small dots, uh, I think, that represent each of the letters, which were at dead ends. Or doodads. <laughs> <laughs> and so, just trying to find a way that made the map fit, which we did not at first. We got I and asked to, to. Yeah, we mixed up a, an I and a T. They were pretty close. It, the map basically fit that way. Um, but... but then when we were like, that looks like tenacity, but spelled wrong, <laughs> <laughs> we rearranged those, the I and the T, and it fits better. Yeah, you just look at this main arrow and you just follow mm -hmm. and grab all the letters as you go around. They're all oriented the same way. It was pretty straightforward. This one was, I think, a little too easy, maybe. But it was it was very easy, very simple. Once we got it all rearranged, um, but I think a nice contrast to the other one. <laughs> yeah. So the previous one that we did. You want to grab those cards? It'll take You'll me need a minute. The, the frog. So this one took us a while. This was uh, the emperor. And. I thought when we were first grabbing these cards, I was like, oh, you know, the Emperor only has four cards, and the Chariot has a million cards, give or take, um, so that one will be a lot harder. False. So the wisdom on this one pointed us to a few things in order. So first it said to look at the keys. Um, which there are three keys on each of these. You may want to zoom in. King cards. Oh, actually, I can't now that we're, we don't have the whole map of Gondor. The whole map there. Um, so there are three keys on each of the king cards, each with a letter on them. And then the emperor holds the key to the keys. And so we we spent a while trying to figure that out. Yeah, quite a bit. We wrote down all the letters and then didn't know what to do with that information. Um, we tried to look at the gems next to see if that's how we were supposed to organize the letters. And then we reread the wisdom that said something about these need to be looked at from a different point were, of view. They were like objects from a different point of view or something. Um, and then you saw, you noticed that uh, some of these letters have, have different, colors. different colors on different sides. So like the base is red and then the top is yellow. And then I was like, oh, I think that's like these letters. Yep. Yeah. And then later I saw another clue that pointed to that as well. So the A, which is uh, in this flower weave circle pattern. at the top of the key, it's the same symbol as in the center here, which points to that being the letter A. Which we had already decided was A, and then we're like, oh, A again. So from that, we, we got letters for each of the symbols. And then we organized um, a bunch of non-words <laughs> for each uh, throne because they have symbols that match these letters we got right. from the keys um, or from the, yeah, from the keys. Mm -hmm. And then, so we made up these words like 
Labuckaboo. <laughs> Real word, don't look it up. Um, Clabukao. So anyway, we realized quickly with our um, education level that that's not a word. <laughs> it doesn't take much education level for that. Um. So then um, you made the smart idea of looking at the gems here. Well, that was the next piece of the wisdom. Oh. Was after... I was calling you smart, but yeah, we can, we can blame <laughs> it on the... Um, after finding out the meaning of, or finding the key to the keys, then you were supposed to look at the gems that were on the throne yeah. and find their meaning and note that they needed rearranging. So we um, used the gems. So this one was a teardrop, which goes with pentacles. gem. So we went with the first letter of pentacles, of pentacles. And because then, this symbol here is a moon. Is a moon it corresponds to this? Oh, oh that's off screen. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 can't see any of it. So let's switch this. There we go. So this first symbol, where are we? There we are. This moon uh, corresponds to this L. L that we found from the throne earlier. And so since that's the first symbol here, that's where we got this L. And then we continued that. So the this white diamond here is the second. And it's on the wands. And so the wands, second letter was a from C. earlier was a C. Etc. Until we got the very interesting word, le calcrated. It looked like it could anagram to something, so I plugged it into an anagram solver because we sat and looked at it for a minute, and the wisdom said that they obviously needed rearranging. So I Of note, I was like, ooh, B-L-E, that that's a word ending, and then all I got was placu, placua, bull. So anyway, it was culpable, and then we went back to the next piece of the wisdom, which said to look at the order, um, or to get orders from the kings, and note the hierarchy of the animals. So we put them in this hierarchy, so that... The dragonfly, apparently, gets eaten by the frog, which apparently gets eaten by the snake, which apparently gets eaten by an eagle. Makes sense to me. Well. But what didn't make sense to me was that this um, was supposed to tell us the order to do these letters. So some, the first two were supposed to come from the eagle, then the second, sorry, the third and fourth were supposed to come from the snake, Et fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So it was supposed to go eagle, eagle, snake, snake, frog, frog, dragonfly, dragonfly. And I don't know how we were supposed to come up with that. That part, I don't know. I could see if you went eagle, snake, frog, dragonfly, repeat. Maybe. I don't think I would have even gotten that. We might have. It just, especially because it said rearrange. I we think just rearranged. We just rearranged. So, so that part, I think the clue could have maybe been written a little better. Or maybe there's something I missed in this that better points to this should have been, like, on here. White, white, then blue, blue, red, something. red, purple, purple, or something. I don't know. But this one was pretty difficult. We spent a long time on this one. Long time. But um, we completed it. Yep. So this one was the Emperor and the, the chariot. chariot. There we go. Yep. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for joining us on our puzzling journey. We will 
be back next time with more episodes. I'm Justin. And I'm Corey. And we're Cardboard in the Rough. <laughs>